Hey everyone, TechnoManager here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to update your Bluetooth driver on your Windows computer. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is in the search here, you're going to search for device manager. So find the device manager or you can use uh, the Windows X key as well to open it up and find device manager. Now once you find device manager, all you're going to do is look for Bluetooth here. So if you have Bluetooth here, you're going to click on it and then click on the arrow to expand it and then you'll see here Bluetooth uh, the wireless Bluetooth option here so you're going to click on that and then right click on your uh, mouse and then once you right click you'll have an option that says update driver so let's click on that now when it comes to update driver if there's an update available you can search for it to see if there is an update usually with the Windows update it might also update the driver so you can see it here or if you didn't see it you can also select a manual update as well now, as you can see here, let's go ahead and try to update again. So if you have an update on your computer that you downloaded or manually, you can install it as well. But let's say you search for it, there, your window is up to date, but you know there is an update. What you're going to do is search for updated on the Windows update. So you're going to click on that. And once you click on it, you're going to look to see if there is an update available. If there is, you're going to go ahead and update the Windows version as well. So here, I just need to restart it to get that update. And what happens is with the Windows update will come the Bluetooth update as well. So you can update the Bluetooth. Now, let's say this method isn't working and you still haven't gotten the update. The next method that you want to go ahead and try to do is by finding, again, as you can see here, the Intel or whatever your um, processor is. So you may see AMD, Intel, or any of the other ones. And then you're going to find your computer's basically version here. So here, if I go to properties here, so I'll see it's a Intel one. Mine's is a 64 gig bit one. So we're gonna search for the Intel 64 bit driver here. So you can see here the driver comes from Intel. You can get some information like driver details. If you click on that, it'll give you some info on it. So we're gonna go, as you can see here, I have 64 bit. You can also find this information from going to your Explorer, opening up your file explorer and then right click on this PC and then show properties it will show you as well. So once you know that, all you do is go over to any browser that you have and you're gonna search for example, Intel 64 bit driver, something like this, and it'll take you to that website. And if you click on it and then look for your version, Windows 10 or 11, then you're gonna go ahead and download that driver. So you're gonna click on download and then from here on, you're going to agree to the terms and condition, and it'll begin downloading here. As you can see here, it's downloading for me the executable for the driver. So then once you do that, you're going to open that up either in your downloads folder or directly from the browser. And it's going to go ahead and ask you if you want to begin the installer, which will begin. So we're going to wait for the installer to begin. As you can see, it's still loading. It just, so as you can see here, are you sure you want to upgrade, which means it'll update from this version that I currently have to that version. So I'm gonna say yes. And you go through the wizard here. Make sure you're connected to a charger, have enough charge when you're doing this update as it will fail if you don't. And you're gonna hit agree to the terms and condition and basically go through the, tip, the install here, depending on the type of install you want, you can do, for example, Pick typical, that's the easiest one, and click on install. And it will begin updating that Bluetooth driver on my device that I have to the latest version that I'm downloading. As you can see here, it's gonna give you a progress bar and basically it will take a little bit of time. And once you're finished, as you can see here, has been completed the driver update. I've finished, click on done. And my driver has been updated and I can exit out. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.